before we left Germany, my mother bought me as many new clothes as I possibly could use, and of course for herself as well, because who knew what we were going to find in Bolivia, you know. <laughs> that's another chapter that's unrelated. Anyway, so uh, yeah, they uh, put us on a train in Chemnitz, and uh, we went to Berlin. In Berlin, they put us on a sealed train, which meant that nobody could get on, nobody could get off. The train took us directly through Germany, through Fran occupied France, to the French-Spanish border in Landai and Irun. Train ride, uh, we were in a compartment, and my mother had bought me this beautiful, beautiful jacket. I was so proud of it, you know, because it was kind of a leather jacket, and it was really elegant. I really loved that jacket. And some idiot had brought opened containers of food that they had not consumed before leaving, and among which was a can of condensed milk, and that gradually dripped on my beautiful jacket. I got so mad at those people, I cursed them from, oh God. I was so mad. Well, then we uh, crossed the border. We were in Spain. All of a sudden, you know, there was kind of like a veil had lifted, you know. We were no longer oppressed. We could walk around the train. We could get off if we wanted to, get on if we wanted to, you know. It was, it was freedom. And then we went to San Sebastian, and uh, they put us up, they, the Jewish uh, aid organizations put us up at the Maria Cristina, which today is a luxury hotel. And uh, there I learned the finer things of life, such as uh, having uh, cheese after dinner, uh, which I think is obligatory. I learned how to eat uh, peanuts, olives, which is something that in Germany were totally unknown. And uh, I learned how to eat octopus and a few other creatures from the deep sea, none of which were kosher, but which tasted really terrific. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in Spain, I learned the final things of life.